Um, you know, it was a heck of a college basketball game. I thought that our guys came out uh, focused. Um, they executed our defensive game plan from pretty much from start to finish. And, um, you know, I felt like Houston Baptist uh, didn't have their normal zip. And that's quite understandable after playing a, a four overtime game on Saturday night and then playing a hard fought game last night. But uh, with that being said, I also thought that our guys defensive intensity um, you know, help take a little bit of their, their momentum out of them early and, uh, they never could just get going, but, you know, hats off to those guys. And, uh, uh now we've got to focus on nickel state. Yes, sir. Uh, it's a, it was a very good all around team game. Uh, when to be all together. uh, what were, oh, this one is too soon. What was coach and your coaches telling you to, Keep that pressure being applied to take the game out of uh, H HBU tonight. Uh, basically, we just tried to stay aggressive on defense and uh, let our defense turn into offense. Yeah, uh, kind of going off what T said, just playing aggressive. Uh, try to make sure they don't get into their sets. So it's just pretty much running ball screens and just talk on defense, get them sped up a little bit. <laughs> Question for uh, both student athletes. How important was it to uh, keep Darius Lee off balance? Uh, he's the guy who makes that offense go. He helped with the four of 12 shooting. Uh, I mean, we just tried to contain him as much as possible, but like he's going to hit shots and like everybody's going to hit shots. So like we just try to contain him as much as possible. Yeah, force him into tough shots. Um, just guard him as best as possible and just make sure we rotate. Our rotations are good. So. Coach, it seemed like you guys saw, you know, you know, you guys went a bit up tempo in the first half. Did you guys feel that, you know, HBU, with the fact that they had played the game on Saturday and last night, you feel that, you know, taking their legs away from them early on would be a key to winning? Of course, you know, we, we, you know, anybody that's followed our program, um, you know, has known that we've played that way all year long. You know, we're top uh, 10, 12 in, in the country in, in turnovers forced per game. And, um, you know, that had to be our, our, our mantra today. Um, you know, like the guy said, uh, our, it, our game plan doesn't change game to game. We're trying to take you out of running, you know, option A and B and make you go to option C and D. And uh, for the most part early on, I thought we did a really good job of that. Um, you know, but it, at the end of the day, uh, I'd just say that the, the guys, um, they've worked long and hard for this and, uh, you know, they know what's at stake um, and they are excited about what's at stake. And um, for them to be able to come out and execute tonight and do what they did, um, it's exciting for them. It's exciting for our program. Um, and, and you know, I, I'm just hoping that we can have the same intensity tonight. And then hopefully maybe if we make it to Saturday, we have the same uh, intensity on Saturday night as well. The game that you guys had during the regular season, you know, five six points either way. And I, for any of you three here, what was what do you think you maybe learned from those uh, two tighter games that really helped you out tonight and get that separation early? Yeah, I think we definitely learned from the first two games. Uh, in the third game, we just tried to execute like on the defense end, and we contained them as much as possible, and they missed a lot of shots tonight. Yeah, well, the first time they turned us over. <laughs> I mean, let's let's be honest. In in most of our games that we've won this year, uh, we've had forced more turnovers than we've turned the ball over. And uh, HBU, the the game at our place, they flipped it on us. Um, we turned the ball over more than they did. Um, they out rebounded us, which again, you know, we're one of the better rebounding teams in the country, especially on the offensive end. And and they kind of flipped it on us and took us to the woodshed. So you had to learn a hard lesson, right? And uh, with that being said, the next two games we've out rebounded on both times, and we've forced more more turnovers, um, you know, than than us. I don't know what the final turnover count was tonight for us. I, I know that we had a bunch late, um, but I think it, as you know, fourteen, 14 and they had twelve. Yeah, but before we subbed out at the five minute mark, we were definitely winning the, the turnover battle. So, uh, talk about the bench, Kelly. Uh, a 36 24 edge, but the bench was really key to putting the game plan in the first half. Yeah, I feel like our whole team is deep. 
one through what's 14, 15 guys. 14 on, yeah. 14, 14 guys. I feel like we have a, anybody can start any given night. So I feel like they did what they're supposed to do. Well, coach, you know, to elaborate a little further on the bench, um, how important is it to have that knowing that you're going to need to, you're going to need these guys the next two nights in order to get the championship? Yeah. And, and you know, um, Sam's right. This team, um, is unlike very many others in that they don't really care who starts. He's been in and out of the starting lineup. He's the only guy who started all every game all year long. And uh, I, I've always said that, you know, we've got six, seven, eight, nine starters on the team. And tonight, you know, I thought that that was evident. And um, it's hard to, it's hard to do in, in college basketball when you're dealing with 18 to 23 year old young men who have egos. And as they should, they're all good basketball players. But for them to put their egos aside and, uh, you know, worry about the, the greater good of the program and us winning. Um, just says a lot about them and their character. And, uh, you know, tonight they were rewarded for it. And, you know, we always talk about it, man, like it's not about you. It's not about me. It's about us. And, uh, you know, obviously tonight was was a good testament to that. Coach, you know, you guys did not to get uh, number one nickels uh, tomorrow night. Uh, your thoughts on the team that, you know, you lost to them by nine the first game, but, uh, you know, you took them to overtime and lost by three the last time you faced them. I think Nichols is a very good basketball team. Obviously, they won the league, so you've got to give credit to them. Um, I think Austin Clunch does a good job. They play really hard, and they've got one dynamic player in Ty Gordon. Um, you know, you don't, you're not top five, ten in the country in scoring if you're not a good basketball player. Um, but with that being said, uh, you know, I felt like we had our opportunities – at their place, you know, we probably got up eight, nine, ten points on them at their place and the same at our place. And um, our lack of execution and our, our inability to take care of the ball, we turned the ball over during some crucial crucial stretches. Um, that ultimately was our demise. So I, I think it's going to be a good basketball game. I hope it's a really good basketball game. Um, you know, that's what, what people are paying to come see. And, and uh, you know, it gives us an opportunity just to continue to – um, build the Southland Conference as a national brand to have two good teams playing, you know, in the uh, semifinals. <laughs> cool. Thanks. Thank you.